All right, you guys. Hello. It is six o'clock at night. Jason, you wanna say hi? Say hey. And I'm not gonna show any of the kids today in this video. <laughs> we'll explain that in the car. But we're going out on our date night, finally. We're gonna go to Daniel's Broiler, which is excellent steakhouse. Oh yes, you need your car. Oh, do I still have it? Yeah. You Sorry, I still have his credit card. Has it? I still have his credit card. All right, ready to go, Jace? Yeah. All right. So what I couldn't say in there, because a certain child of mine, who I want to not be around tonight, <laughs> who is not oh, nine, twelve, or fourteen. So there's only one other child that we could be talking about. Had epic meltdowns for hours today. Hours. So I'm kind of done with her. I'm putting Abby in charge tonight. Kaylee is at her friend's house. And Chelsea doesn't really feel good, which kind of in some ways helped a little bit because she was just kind of off on her own. Can we go? I'm trying, but my phone's not charging. So <gasps> my phone's probably going to die. I need to have some air really quick because I'm really hot. So anyway, we got a lot of chores done. We got the main floor cleaned up and vacuumed and so that was really good and then they supposedly oh, I need to turn on a light here so they cleaned up the playroom upstairs a certain someone didn't actually like monitor that cleanup to get completely done so there was a lot of tears and screaming involved to get that done and there's still a pile left over that I'm still mad about because of all the tantrums that were revolving around it so I'm not going to pick it up myself. She still has to work, a certain someone still has to work on that. Um, but then I was able to organize in my bathroom one, under one of the cupboards. The other one just has towels in it and it's kept up nice. And so I kind of straightened up this other cupboard. I'm done for the day. I took a shower midday. I, my, I didn't eat breakfast until noon. And then I had a light snack at like three. So I'm very hungry and welcome to the day. How are you doing? Uh, good. I worked uh, all day, busy at the store, and uh, but it was good. Made some money. <laughs> what he said to me as we walked to the car, he's like, well, I had a great day. I had a really good day at the store. I was like, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm, I'm happy he's happy tonight, because that could be a thing that we have a problem with tonight, but <laughs> I'm, I'm hot. I need air. Okay, I'll get you cold air. Hot. I will get you. We'll I did curls tonight, and so I've been doing my hair for like the past hour. Anyway. You gotta turn your vents so they're on you. Yes. And Abby, well, Jason started dinner, and Abby's finishing up dinner. They had quesadillas and cheese toast, but I just didn't want them in the video today. <laughs> I just wanted our our night going out, having a good dinner. Um, we won't have a view because it's cloudy and overcast and uh, maybe sometimes higher clouds we'll see we'll see but I'm looking forward to dinner and a steak that I don't have to pick out of my teeth <laughs> and I'm just I'm really excited for food tonight I don't even know why the simple pleasures of life yes um, if you didn't catch our video yes well it's the video that went up yesterday uh, Jason and I did a bunch of decluttering we went to Costco um, it's a longer video so if you were kind of thrown off by that just watch it just go and watch all 30 minutes of it and you can just 30 minute video i know i couldn't cut it down because the last 15 minutes of it is just our funny banter in the closet and his inability to <laughs> declutter and so uh, or, just or trust or me the ability to keep things the way they like them so they don't have to declutter they're worn out okay we're gonna so get into it again in my life you find and joy and worn get, out. And I don't need to get things worn out. I don't out. want you to find joy and worn out because that makes me feel like you're fine having a worn out wife. <laughs> Only if you're worn out, but you also don't want me to trade you in. No, I don't want you to trade me in. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't compare you to a t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, so just go ahead and watch that. It's really funny. And, you know, don't be throwing your comments below. <laughs> yeah, whose side are you on? Yeah. Tell me about your husband and wife banter. Yeah. And your marital bliss. So
here at dinner. What did you think? Oh, fabulous. So Steak. incredibly good. Is it, is it blurry? No, we're good. Oh yeah, it's it's it's, it's really expensive, but it's good. It's so expensive. We even buy the gift certificates from Costco, and they didn't take twenty dollars of them because it's only valid it's at the Seattle really location. Do. The fine print. Read the fine print, kids. Yep, we didn't read the fine print, so. But it's, we, I mean, I've been looking forward to this for three years now, so it was worth every penny that I waited for three years for. So I, I will say that I'm, I don't feel as guilty. It's good. But it's good, good meat. It, it might good be, cow. It might be another three years before we can afford to come again, which is fine because I like to like anticipate it and enjoy it because I think people who eat like this and, and go out to eat like this more often don't actually enjoy the food. I don't know, what do you guys think? But if you have something special too often, it becomes less special. Yeah, so. Um, I forgot to mention, I was talking to Jason during dinner. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't have a good day and I remembered another part of my day that I wanted to like, that I actually filmed. I saw the laundry piling up in the room and went in to kind of I actually locked myself into the room because I needed to get away from my child. And I noticed water on the floor and I knew that Kaylee hadn't mopped the floors yet. And so I knew right away it was probably the filter on the washing machine. And I knew I needed to clean that out. So I got, got some dirty towels. Luckily that was the next load that was gonna go in and shoved those underneath the washing machine and prepped myself with paper towels and Clorox wipes and even a little skewer stick and then open the little filter floodgates and all the water piles out and you have to pull out the filter and the whole thing. We but had a video on it. Yeah, I don't remember. A long time ago. What video it is, but anyway, so I was sitting on the floor cleaning this all out and Abby came in with the skewer stick to give to me and she was like, oh, you really aren't having a good day, are you? <laughs> I was literally like sitting on the laundry room floor covered in like moldy crap from the filter and yeah that's just how my day went so this tonight was worth every penny to get away from that because a certain child of ours is still screaming at home oh, yeah. it is 9 p.m abby said she's been crying since seven screaming that was when she's supposed to get in bed yeah, yeah. <sighs> so I just called Chelsea and told her to go into my room and she does she's fine she's not having a she's not being the problem but she can't go to sleep with the screaming and so we're not going home yet <laughs> <laughs> and I told Abby I'm not coming home until you tell me she's asleep in her bed well, shush. no I did I did tell Abby that well we got to figure out where, where to, go. to go probably ice cream he wants cheesecake. He's mentioned cheesecake like twice. Uh, Why don't we just go over to Cheesecake Factory? Uh, I thought you would go there when I said cheesecake. Do you want to go there? Because you said the grocery store. And I didn't know why you'd say the grocery store. Okay, I, we're, 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 we're in a spot. Make up your mind. No, I'm not going back. Because we have to go back and find parking and go in and... We were walking around. You could have said cheesecake. I don't want cheesecake. It was on your mind. I can't read okay. your mind. Well, this is kind of for you so I'm trying to I don't want mind. cheesecake I don't want cheesecake so I'm fine but now he's upset because he no, wants cheesecake fine. we can go to the grocery store and get ice cream or something okay. I did promise Abby a milkshake so I do need to go and get the milkshake right before we go home I said we go to Burger Master Shake but it's probably closed yeah. um, I don't really want to go to Target because I don't need anything and I can't spend any money right now you can go for a drive all right, we'll go for a drive because I'm not going home until she's quiet. I'm just not. Yeah, baby. We go from Daniel's broiler like upscale to Chick-fil-A. All right. Well, just as we were driving, I'm getting on the freeway. I unbuckled because I, I couldn't reach over and grab my phone because I'm so full. But Jason got on the highway and he was like, I saw dude, the sign. I, yeah, he's like, what? How, do, how about a frozen lemonade? And that like totally sounds like something that would hit the spot right now. Cause I don't want like a full dessert, but I want like something yeah. sweet. No, it sounds perfect. 
Yeah. But we're going to do a challenge. The challenge is you go through the drive through and you order what you want and you get it. <laughs> He's making, we were just talking about YouTube channels who do challenges on their videos. I think it's so moronic to go through all these stupid drive throughs and order with the person ahead of you. If I was a, 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 a <laughs> fast food owner, I would tell all my employees, if someone comes through and does that stupid challenge, then you say, okay, they ordered five Big Macs, 10 large Cokes, you know, eight <laughs> pounds of fries, and you know, 30 shakes. You'd have like a set, a set like order. Yes, I would. And like every person who did that challenge automatically had a $50 oh. order. Oh yeah, oh. I would be like making that the biggest <laughs> order. I'd be like, if we're gonna waste our time having to look yeah. up what happened, where are these babies gonna pay? Yep. So we're and he hates this line. It, it's it, like Chick Fil A is good. Is it okay for all you people who live around Chick Fil A? Is there always a line like this? We'll show it, but is there always a line this bad all the time for Chick Fil A? Our location live? sucks. They try to fit our Chick Fil A into a spot that is. The no, no, no. most this, ridiculous this is a spot. Parking lot, whatever for a city like this. No. Please in the comments below, Chick Fil A's by you. Are they always backed up like this? Please. Uh, Our, let this me one know. is literally on the intersection of a major hospital and Microsoft offices. So. I don't know. It's, it's the worst location possible. I don't see other fast foods backing up this much. Wendy's over the way is even more downtown. No one cares about Wendy's anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like. I want to know, please leave comments below if the Chick-fil-A's in the areas you've visited or live in are as crazy backed up as this. Thank you. And let me grab you some straw. All right. Yeah, me. All right, well, that was a really long line. Really we long realized, line. oh, did they hit each other? No. Oh, the car dead. Um, we realized that there's a hotel right next to the Chick-fil-A and there's, we saw them at dinner when we were there's another hotel I think there's a cheerleading competition like a national cheerleading competition or something and there was a whole slew of people like inside the rest inside Chick-fil-a I mean just like I mean I'm, we haven't seen it this busy since it opened yeah it's pretty crazy so who knew at 9 30 at night <laughs> obviously like the competition got out late and they're just getting dinner or something I don't know but it's worth the time to get my little Chick-fil-A fix, but. If you've never tried the uh, frosted lemonade, hashtag yum. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> I'm even I'm, I'm, even I'm, I'm embarrassed by that. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's, and it's really lame. Uh, but we talked to Abby on the I'm phone. I'm drunk. I know. I talked to Abby on the phone. Dad had to give his stern voice to Ashley. So we clearly know who, what child is causing the problem. Um, she's still screaming. It's 930. We're going to go home. Abby's getting in the shower so that she can kind of calm down and get ready for the bed. But it's not really fair to her to have to deal with this when we can go home. So we got our night out. It, it's good. But we're not going to take you into the house with us because... We need to go and There's deal no with it. need to see that. Nope, we don't need to see that. So thank you for joining our little date night tonight. I think it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Just keep coming along for the ride. Like I said yesterday, and you know, when you see our videos, if you don't mind, if you have time, click and watch it right when it goes live. And if it, depending on where you live, if it isn't a convenient time for you to watch it, let me know what time would be. Because I know a lot of my, my friends that are watching over in England, I don't know what time it is for you guys when you're, when my videos go live. Um, obviously it's 9 a.m. for me here in the States and we're on like Pacific Standard Time. But if there's another time that's better, maybe I'll switch the time because I'd rather like make it work for you guys, at least you original people, and find a time that's really good. So, because it really does help my channel if you watch it right when it first goes live. Like, you can watch it any time, but it does help it. So, that's it, that's you guys. You click the bell, right? Get yeah, you, you get notified right when it goes live. So, anyway, take care, you guys. Have a good night. Good night.